Hi guys, since um, doing the gravity oil feed on the mill here, the uh, next thing in mind was some way of having a blast of air when I need it. Well, I've got this which is normally on the lathe, but uh, when milling it means having one hand in use to use that when you want two hands free. So the thought was to have a foot operated system. So what we've got, try and describe it here, this was a piece of 2x4, uh, we ripped it down the middle, made an approximate length to suit, um, and then here is a very simple hand uh, air trigger, Harbour Freight I believe. <laughs> so measured the uh, diameter of that approximately, cut some spaces. And we've got two, sp two spaces under here which are different position. Well that's basically to support the, the uh, what is now a foot operated air valve. Um, found some four inch quarter bolts fortunately which strap it all together and although that moves it's still captive in effect and from that we're going out on some rubber air hose to a connector which I can put into the normal feed for the lathe air blast gun and then this end We've come out, this is all done with various fittings to suit, mostly raiding the box of fittings. I did get one or two extras. And I'm only using my good old 6mm silicon tubing, which I think will cope, because uh, I normally only run the, uh, the air gun here at about 15, 15, 20 on the regulator. So then, from there, we go to uh, <laughs> another mag base. <laughs> Good old mag bases, they're so useful. Um, so what we've got here again is fittings to suit. Uh, the female female one here, that's been soft solder sweated onto the piece of steel angle bolted down onto the mag base and again odd fittings to suit and I had this spare segmented uh, tubing pipe so let's hook it up and see so we'll take the uh, take that out and we'll put this into the foot switch sorry see or foot pedal shall we call it and I'll put that on the floor and uh, try it in a minute but <laughs> there you are <laughs> did just move that so we can position the nozzle pretty much anywhere we want according to where the mag base is and uh, just get that little puff of air and that's only I say that's only about 15 pound I think on the uh, regulator just trying to find a piece of paper here and that should be really plenty enough for most occasions when you're trying to get rid of some chips I'll just put this on the floor piping all over the place on the floor but anyway this is uh, this is the idea have this somewhere down here put the foot on the block just give it a tap either a long burst or a short so that means all the time we're getting chips we can uh, get them shifted. 
So again, just to demo, so we can have a short, just a little hit, or much longer. There's quite a delay on this uh, air switch. Uh, it doesn't shut off very quick, but actually a short tap is just fine. And it may be that this could have a small extension of brass tube if needed, but that basically is it. Just another little addition which may make life easier sometimes when milling in a rather enclosed space and the chips just collect ahead of the cutter and uh, can cause problems. So there you go, another gadget from the gizmo factory. <laughs> I'm not sure what the next project is, I expect there'll be something. Anyway, we'll see you soon guys. Thanks for watching.